This local sports report is presented by Kelly Pataki, your hometown realtor and a proud supporter of the Cambridge Redhawks. Kelly is a sales representative with the Remax Real Estate Center who brings trusted advice and experience to your next home purchase or sale. Contact Kelly for all your real estate needs at 519-716-7998. We've had the opportunity to chat with the players over the last couple of weeks, and now it's time to speak to head coach Adam Wallace about the upcoming GOJHL season. The players are excited, which is always the case at this time of year, but why are you excited? What is it about this group? It's going to be a different group, a unique group this year. What is it that you like, Adam? A uh, different group, but, you know, a big, big core group coming back, and, you know, that's a big part from last year, right, with, uh, you know, a lot of success we had last year was from that family atmosphere we try to create around here, and, yep. you know, to have a core group like that coming back to teach the new guys, you know, that's something that we think is very beneficial. You talk about the family atmosphere, obviously Tanner and Luke. We'll talk about Luke in a minute. Uh, you got Brady and Tyson Wasink this year, and also Matthew and Cameron Freeze. You got this weird brother thing going on here. It's, a, it's, it's really neat. I actually really like it. Um, you know, touch on a little bit about Brady Wasink, first of all, and then Cameron Freeze also. You know, two younger guys who I think are going to be contributing pieces. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, Brady's a very skilled defenseman. Um, you know, he has a good 200 foot game, and I think, you know, he's going to benefit playing a year in our league, and then, you know, hopefully he's up playing in Sudbury the year after. Yep. Um, you know, and then same thing with Cam. You know, hopefully he comes in here this year, has a good year, you know, l learns to play the right way and, and gets adapted in the junior hockey, and then he's in Sarnia the year after. You know, that's our goal for our 16-year-olds every year is to, you know, to push them on to that next level. The focus is development. That's what this league is about. That's what this organization is about. A success story is Luke Bibby. What an incredible season he had for you last year, scoring key goals, big goals, great goals in the playoffs. Uh, to see him move to that next level, you yeah. know, means what to you? I mean, it's great. I couldn't be happier for Luke. You know, he's a great kid and good family. And, you know, I think he'd come in here last year, did everything right every day, um, you know, and it, the success paid off for him. Yeah. Derek Pies, another one that comes to mind too, your captain. You know, he hoisted that Cherry Cup in Elmira that night. I know that's one of the best moments that you've had in your illustrious coaching career to see Derek be able to do that. You know, what did he mean to this group? What, what did he do? Why was he such a good captain, Adam? Um, you know, Derek, Derek was great. Uh, we had Derek come in here as a 16-year-old, as a you know, do some AP stuff with us. And yeah. then, uh, you know, he stepped in, started playing a pretty big role with us at 17. We had the COVID year. But... You know, he really came into his own, and you know, I, I thought he was probably the one of the best players in the league last year, if not the best. And you know, he he really w led by example, you know, day in and day out yeah. with his work ethic and his skill. And you know, he, he we couldn't ask for anything more out of a leader than what Derek gave us last year. Talking a lot about last year's guys, let's look at this year. Who do you expect the standout players to be? Who are some of the guys that you're kind of keying on that are going to be another year better because of the development, and you're going to kind of lean on a little bit more to take on more of that leadership role to help you get back to that cherry cup? Yeah, I mean, I, I look right to our O2 group uh, yeah. to, to begin with, you know, with Bibby and Britton and Mara and McKnight and, mm -hmm. you know, Cummings. And, and that, that group there, it's just the, a core group that's been around for a while and, you know, understand what – we as a group want to be able to accomplish and you know to instill that into our guys those are the core group of guys that we want to be coming back and you know i'm sure i've missed a couple names and <laughs> yeah. it's spouting off there but uh you know i i just think it will we'll, we try to lead, have guys lead by committee and mm -hmm. you know I, I think you know you look at last year's group like colson you know did he have an a on his jersey no but i thought he was probably the best player um you know in, in the in the playoffs yeah. last year right him yeah. and Derek, and they take it to a new level and you know, that's kind of what we expected of uh, our O2 group this year, for sure. And we don't even talk about Tanner Wickware. In the yeah. conversation with Jacob Colson, and obviously they were really tight too. Let's talk about the goaltenders quickly. Ben Edwards, Marcus Stoiko. What do you like about that duo? Uh, you know, I, I think they're both guys that are they're capable to play every single night, and you know they're going to push each other to to take minutes, and yeah. you know who, who who's going to want to fight for that crease, and you know I, I think it's a it's a good tandem we got going here, Darren. So hopefully uh, it plays out well. It's going to be a battle to the end once again this year at the Midwestern Conference. Cambridge Redhawks hoping to repeat as Cherry Cup champions and also take that next step onto the Sutherland Cup title. Great to see you, Adam. Thanks for the time, and look forward to a, another great season here in Cambridge. Yeah, likewise. Thanks, Darren. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.